favorite lyrics from a song is uh, Jolene by Dolly Parton because I've heard her explain the story and it's just brilliant if somebody's going after your boyfriend, you know, you write the song and then the whole world knows that song and exactly how you felt about that girl. So she definitely got the last laugh there. Realistically, I'd probably be a, an actress. I think that's that's probably what I would have gone for. What's on me? Food. It's food on me. It's gone now. <laughs> See, this is what they do to me. They take me to a restaurant in New Jersey, give me the beastliest plate of pasta, you know, it's seriously bigger than your head, the food portions here in America. And then they start asking me questions. So I do the first question with carrot on my face. I probably spin it in my teeth. Let's go check. Which one is my favorite of all my songs? It changes every day. If I'm, you know, when I wanted to just written, written uh, the album, Synchronous Swimmers, I thought Synchronous Swimmers was my favorite song, so the ones I've written. But then, if you're in a loving, loving mood, then Vampires is my favorite. And I've had Diamonds in My Belly was my favorite for a while. It's about getting my belly button pierced and then fainting and having mom pick me up. It was like one of the uncoolest moments of my life. Um, so, yeah, it, it varies, it changes. <laughs> the best is definitely blueberry pancakes, syrup and strawberries. Yes, we had those in Boston and it was amazing. Um, it hasn't been anything bad, but the weirdest one has to be going to Rascal's Chicken and Waffle in Los Angeles and having fried chicken with a sweet like waffle and syrup. That was, yeah, it's the strangest food combination I think I've ever come across, but not bad. Ooh, if I'd tell you, then it would kind of be ruined, wouldn't it? You know, because when I cover when I cover something so good, delicious, people normally don't realize what I'm, what the song it is until it's quite far, far into the song. So I think I'll keep you guessing on that one. Oh, blogs do have more fun. Mm, yeah, definitely. You have to, because when I had long dark hair, I, I felt like, you know, there was a bit more of a serious artist thing going on, which is good, because I could do it being a little bit more serious, but... No, this is me. Pink, because it's the nicest. <laughs> hmm, I don't really have a quote or motto. I just try to kind of... I try to see everything in, in a very positive light. Sometimes sometimes too much so, kind of. fairy tale rosy glow of life. Yeah, I believe in that. My favorite book. Oh, that's easy. Right now, it's my my uh, crocheting book. <laughs> oh, I'm so cool. Hey, don't roll your eyes. Band members cannot roll their eyes when somebody's answering 20 questions. Uh, no, because I want to learn to crochet socks before next winter. Uh, so I have the summer to crochet some socks, and I'm working on it now. But my dog keeps going into the basket where I have a wall and then he puts one hand in his mouth and then he runs around the furniture so it looks like one of those films where they set the security thing off you know, and you need to kind of go underneath have him see the Jones or someone it looks like that in my living room when he's been helping me crochet yeah. I don't have a favorite movie I like like singy dancey movies but there's so many good ones of those and also I'm not the most patient person in the world so if I've seen it once I go I know how it ends and then I don't want to see it again so favorite movie thing doesn't work for me um, but I did see a television program last night on American TV and that was something else it was called Extreme Couponing and it's about these people that, do, that like spend 30 hours a week cutting coupons like discount tickets if you don't know what coupons are because I didn't know and they cut it out of the magazine and then they get free stuff and then if they buy like 152 bottles of some drink they find out with all their their calculations that the store owes them money and this is what their whole life is about and then if you go to the basement of their house it's full i'm not kidding this woman she didn't even have a kid and she had uh, she had diaper uh, diaper rations to have a baby for a year and a half and she didn't even have a child you know 
it's it was a little bit confusing the program, but it was fascinating because just how much weirdness does exist. Japan. <laughs> Chocolate because it means chocolate. Julian, sorry, I know I talked about the earlier interview, but it's my favorite song. Can't change it. Not gonna be changed. No, have you seen me? No, <laughs> um, I'm not sure any, but um, I don't know. I like party dresses and you know dresses, and this one's got like rabbits and horses and teddies on it, so that's quite good. And I like my golden cowboy boots, and I generally like anything that goes with my golden cowboy boots, apart from when I'm at home, because then you just wear wellies and woolly socks. And you can also wear a nice dress with that, it really livens it up. So, don't know, I don't think I have, I just wear what I think is nice, and I think like nice things and nice things don't necessarily go together, but if they're all nice, it's gonna be fine. The one with, I, I just, I've been making, uh, I made this one for my for my friend's father the other day, and they've got it's got chocolate, and then it's got chocolate, different kind of chocolate, and different kind of chocolate, and different kind of chocolate, and then it's got uh, then it's got walnuts. That was nice. I kind of added more chocolate as the uh, every time I make the recipe. So now it's kind of chocolate in a, in a cupcake box with a bit of walnuts, but it's lovely. Most memorable performance. Oh. Wow. I, memorable for a bad reason and where they had me play in London at some some kind of gangster R and B club festival night and everybody had had their, their jeans kind of with a bum showing and they were doing hand gestures like this and then we came on with a glockenspiel and rocked it. Yeah, that was memorable for all the wrong reasons. But then I've had some really memorable gigs uh, playing too. Lots and lots of people that sing along to my songs. Um, I heard a few of those, which was brilliant. But I still think the gangster gig, just because it was so random, and I was so out of place. I mean, who delicious as I am, they weren't getting the Icelandic folk at all. I just prove different things. Prefer different things about both because in. Los Angeles and they're around. They have they have fashion shops that are just selling dog clothes. They have doggy daycare and spa centers and they've got little dogs strutting their stuff in little shoes and the dog didn't even mind. So <clears throat> I think for that reason you have to give them support. And they've got this very tacky looking sightseeing buses that got leopard skin and really big lazy boy looking chairs and they have no top and then you left. Like, trying to spot somebody famous, which just kind of sounds a little bit creepy. So I just thought that there's definitely materials for songs there. But then, but then when, since I've been to New York, I can't just be going, wow, because everything looks like a film. And I need, really, I needed to, I really needed to restrain myself, not to run into Times Square going, start spreading the news. <laughs> Uh, the chocolate cake that is cake on the outside and is melted chocolate on the inside. I don't know, but I just, with any animal question, I want the answer to be either squirrel or penguin, so can we just go with that? I would take back that everybody would think it was perfectly acceptable to have for breakfast a pancake that looks bigger than your head and then pile syrup onto it and feel fine about it like it's all healthy and stuff. Yay. That's it? Are we done? Yeah. Now, now, Christina can, can finally food. finish her food. I mean, I've already eaten, eaten like this with pasta, so check back with me in 12 hours and maybe this American portion will be doing something good.